Hello guys, welcome back. Today I want to process this computer motherboard pins. Actually, this is from uh, 32 motherboards and here pins are with plastic. I just want to process these two pins with plastic and without plastic separately to see if there is any way to not uh, take time to remove plastic parts and accelerate process. Both of these two containers are from 32 computer motherboards and here we have almost pins which are not being trimmed and uh, they are intact and actually you can see there is only gold plating on the tip and also these pins there is gold plating at the curved side so these pins are made of brass which is covered with nickel or some tin metal there is tin plating I want to process these pins with cyanide uh, without removing any solder since cyanide tends to make complex with transition metals tin metal is post transition metal or at least has a less tendency to make complex with cyanide while comparing with silver and gold gold has a more tendency among other transition metal to make complex so I think having tin alongside with gold isn't that bad and I just want to process them while there is tin among these pins so let's wait this to see how much pins we got from 32 motherboards it's about 800 grams of pins which is plated with gold actually this is not high grade pins but there is some gold plating on them so let's start the process also among these plastic parts with pins there is some LAN port which is there is some gold plating under solder mask solder mask removed by dipping this circuit in sodium hydroxide solution for 24 hours and you can see all copper line in this circuit is gold plated I just transfer the solution to the speaker which pins are there. And then I add this solution which is mixture of hydrogen peroxide and the lead nitrate. You can see things got orange here actually this is excess lead nitrate which converts to the lead oxide in presence of uh, alkaline solution and hydrogen peroxide this is okay no need to worry about the process going wrong While these pins are being stripped, I need to mention something important. I can easily remove solder 
from these pins or tin metal. As I mentioned before, majority of these pins are made of brass and brass is alloy of zinc and copper, which are members of transition metals that have tendency to make complex with cyanide. Actually, uh, having solder on these pins is beneficial for us to prevent underneath metal brass alloy to getting dissolved into the cyanide solution and prevent this competition with gold to get dissolved. To check presence of free cyanide in this solution, I should pick a sample from this solution and this is very dilute silver nitrate solution just I need to add one drop to this sample to check that you can see white cloud forming in this tube here let's add some more there we go this white this white cloud here is silver cyanide but by some agitating it will dissolve this means we have free cyanide in this solution because silver cyanide dissolve again and there is no more white cloud if this white cloud wouldn't become dissolved that means there is no free cyanide in this solution and probably some gold dropped and uh, plated on the most active metal in this solution. So this is good news that we have free cyanide. After half an hour all pins seem to strip completely. So I decanted solution to start further processing. Any incomplete leach pins observed, you shouldn't decant this solution and you have to add some more hydrogen peroxide to proceed leaching process. Or sometimes all cyanide be consumed that you have to add some more fresh cyanide solution. Actually always there is this uncertainty while using hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizing agent for cyanide leaching. That's why I'm seeking for another oxidant or another method that could be substituted for hydrogen peroxide to proceed leaching process without concerning about losing any cyanide or running out of oxidizing agent. And here you can see there is no more gold plating left on these pins. Now solution is decanted and I wash pin to remove excess a gold solution from pins and now I want to test solution for gold a stannous chloride test so I pick some to test it I place it on a stove to warm up solution and then I will add some hydrochloric acid to expel excess hydrogen cyanide gas you shouldn't do this at home because this is very dangerous in making hydrogen cyanide gas I'm doing this under film hood and I'm sure I will not expose to these toxic films. So I add some hydrochloric acid to acidify solution and I heat solution here to the boiling point. Solution brought to a boil and I just want to let it boil off to concentrate a bit and you can see it turned yellow this yellow color is due to the dissolved gold and iron now I want to add some astonus chloride to see if there is any dissolved gold in this solution this yellow color should disappear just enough astonus chloride is needed There we go, this solution is getting a bit dark and this should increase after a while.
you can see this solution is a bit dark to start processing these pins with plastic there is some pins which are oxidized you can see here this is copper from the base metals actually brass been oxidized and some greenish blue salt form on these pins before leaching these pins with cyanide I just want to make sure no more copper metals on these pins look here these are oxidized so I start with rinsing with dilute ammonia solution to dissolve copper oxide solution turn blue this is copper oxide dissolved in ammonia solution and you can see these pins are clean and now I just want to rinse this off several times and then I start leaching with cyanide I washed pins several times and I added some distilled water there is no more trace of blue color and here I have cyanide solution with sodium hydroxide which I made while washing these pins I add solution to the pins here I found that addition of some sodium carbonate will enhance process by making sodium percarbonate. Actually, when you add sodium carbonate, it reacts with hydrogen peroxide to form sodium percarbonate salt, which is way more safer oxidizing agent for cyanide to not be destroyed. Actually, sodium percarbonate is an oxidizing agent used for bleaching purpose in laundry industries. I added fish tank pump just for agitating purpose and continuing process by adding some atmospheric oxygen. So let's make some sodium percarbonate. I add just a little amount of water just to make a substrate for uh, sodium carbonate to react with hydrogen peroxide and I add some sodium carbonate to make a concentrated solution here I have 30% hydrogen peroxide solution I just need to add hydrogen peroxide to the sodium carbonate solution to make it freeze and form crystals of sodium percarbonate then twirl it and there we go you can see it's solidified totally and this is sodium percarbonate crystals sodium percarbonate crystals which we made added to the cyanide leaching bath I take a random part to see if gold is leached inside this part. And there isn't any trace of gold on this pin. And this CPU slot is completely stripped and only underneath nickel layer remained to reclaim our gold I decided to use electrodeposition process to get gold powder instead of using zinc or aluminum powder and I'm using a stainless steel electrode as a cathode and graphite as the anode a stainless steel electrode is covered with a brown powder of metal because I started electrodeposition process first for the batch I recovered from the only pins batch and now I'm just recovering gold from the solution which I got from pins with the plastics
As it is obvious, a metallic layer form on the katha. This metallic layer can be scratched off easily using a knife. But to do that perfectly, I decided to use reverse electrolysis process in dilute nitric acid solution to make sure all powders come off. As you can see, all metal powders came off and there is no trace of metallic powder on the cathode. Metallic sludge which I got from the cathode dissolved in aqua regia to be refined and then been tested with stannous chloride solution and there is very dilute solution of gold in this aqua regia sample. This is exactly what I expected from this amount of low grade pins and we shouldn't expect too much gold from that kind of pins from motherboards. Then solution been filtered to make it ready to drop gold. Nitric acid neutralized using some sulfamic acid and then some SMB added to drop gold. There we go. This is the gold recovered from 32 motherboards pins that was actually low grade pins. I checked everything to make sure I'm not losing any amount of gold and this is all I got. I really didn't expect to get valuable amount of gold from the start. I just did all these processes to make sure if it is possible to strip gold using cyanide when there is tin metal on the pins. I should mention again that I'm doing all these processes to explore science and methods. Of course, today's cyanide leaching process wasn't perfect and there is a lot of progress to make. Maybe I make some meta nitrobenzoic acid in my future videos to be used as an oxidant for cyanide leaching process. And here is some of my future projects to make video.